What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Ross. Here with the C with Cost of Ball. And we all talk about why ESPN first take show fell off. Now, I know a lot of you. I know what you're going to say. You hate the show. You're going to know a lot of you. Why do you still watch this show? Everybody always says the same old thing. I like the show, okay? But it's sort of, those who are wrestling fans, it's sort of akin to the WWE. It's like, you remember it in its heyday when it was great, and you just hope that one day it would cra capture that greatness, all right? But it never does. And, that, and that's how I feel like on a lot of times on ESPN First Take. Now, I love the back and forth. I love the argument. I love how Skip Bayless, even though the brother ain't from the hood, I like how he's able to crack jokes on Stephen A., you know what I'm saying, be playing the dozen and stuff like that. He be getting some good ones in. Um, even though Skip Bayless, I'm not a Skip Bayless fan, I, I do, I'm a hater of Skip Bayless, but I respect him, all right? So it's a, sort of a love-hate relationship I have with Skip Bayless. But we're going to talk about this, this show. Number one, why it fell off. Number one reason is Skip Bayless trolling game has really fallen off since LeBron won the championship, okay? Skip Bayless pre-LeBron championship was hilarious. Little Brick talking about how he would miss, you know, last second shots. Just making up stuff just to hate on the man. I mean, it was funny, all right? From an entertainment standpoint, I'm not a LeBron hater. I just enjoyed how he hated on LeBron. It was very funny. But now after LeBron's won the championship, then Skip Bell is really struggling and bringing that entertainment value and then trolling, okay? He's done a bad job. Okay, Andrew Luck, uh, that's that's not going to bring the ratings because Andrew Luck is a, like a real nice guy. So you can troll him, but it's, it's not going to be the same, okay? The people who he could potentially troll, he's not doing. He's fans of theirs. Like, you could really troll RG3. That would be great, but he's an RG3, RG3 fan. Okay, the T-Bow thing, that worked out for a little bit when he was a fan of his, but then, of course, we know what happened with T-Bow. He's an announcer now, so that doesn't work. <clears throat> Johnny Manziel, perfect person to troll, but he's a fan of Johnny Manziel, so that doesn't work, Okay. Uh, Russell Westbrook, he, I, you, you know, he's not a fan of his like that, but he could really be trying to control him, KD, but he's, he's a fan. So he's done a bad job post-LeBron choosing people to troll. And now he just messed up. Like, you look at, like, Jameis Winston, he's a perfect person to troll. Like, he's like, hey, Jameis Winston's going to be the number one pick. Why? What do you troll him? So he troll game just fell off, man. You know, the Brian stuff doesn't work. Yeah, you can still he still picks on him, but it's not the same. He won two championships. The other reason the show fell off. Carrie Champion. Carrie Champion. Now, I know what you're gonna say. She's beautiful. Okay, we know this. Alright? We know she's beautiful, all right? Or she looks straight or whatever how you view her, okay? But all that beauty. But when it comes to sports, brains. I ain't talking about her brains or intellect. I'm talking about sports, brains, it ain't there. All that beauty and no sports brains. Okay? We know she don't know anything about football. I don't care if she did a special, a special on uh, Cam Newton. We know football is not her strong strength. And it's a key to the show. Yeah, she can talk about how she must she love the Lakers. Okay. But football is not her sport. And that's a big key element because football is the most popular sport. And you can tell by the way she asks questions. You can tell by some of the guests she has. She don't really know who they are. You know, like, you know, history-wise. You can just tell that she... It's not really experience. And so that messes up the show. And it's not only her sports brains, but it's the question she asks. See, if you don't know the sport, 
like that, you can't really ask great questions to further along the debate and stuff. Her questions are so basic, so not anything that you can tell that she knows the sport. And she can't really conversate. Now, I understand they hired her, so the show really focuses on, on, on Stephen A. and Skip, which is fine. But you got to have a little balance in there to bring a little voice, a little balance to it. And truth be told, we know that Stephen A. don't want to hear from Carrie Chapman. He never asked her, what's your opinion, Carrie? Never. Okay? It's always Skip Bayless. Uh, let's hear Let's hear from um, let's Carrie Champion. All right? All right? I can't do a Skip Bayless impression. All right? But uh, let's do, you know how he does, man. No, it doesn't work. All right, so Carrie Champion really is why the show fell off. And I hope she finds another job. I don't want her to get fired. I'm not going to say that. I hope she finds another job and leaves. And they get a host that can really do a great job and can answer questions. All right? Then finally, the man, the myth, the legend. All right? Stephen A. Smith. And I know some of y'all hate Stephen A. Smith. I'm not going to get into that. I like Stephen A. Smith. I don't agree with him on everything, but I like Stephen A. Smith. But the problem, of course, with Stephen A. Smith is they're too good of friends for him to really, really, really go in like that. Now, does he go in on, yeah, but ultimately, if Skip Bailey really gets upset, he'll back off, okay? And you can't, because that's his boy. You can't have a show where you back off just because Skip Bayless get real mad. You got to be able to pound Skip Bayless. That's what makes the show entertaining. And that's the problem with Stephen A. Is that they're too good of friends. And they need other guests in there who are willing to go at Skip Bayless. Yeah, we know that Jalen Rose will never be back. All right. We know that, you know, probably uh, the Mavs owner will never be back. But the show needs a third voice, and not Carrie Chapman, but it needs some, some guests who will be able to bring a little spice, a little flair to the show. And, you know, the different coaches, they're not going to do it. So they have some of the same analysts all the time at Sports Stars. None of them really bring that flavor to the show that makes you want to watch. I'm sorry. They, they don't. And the show is suffering. And they need to do some things to spice it up. You know, I'm not a fan of the two-hour format. But if you're going to have a two-hour format, you got to have different topics all the time. They'll have one topic, let's say the Dallas Cowboys, talk about that for like 20 minutes. And then an hour later, they're talking about the same topic, cover the same thing, but they have another guest in there. It, that, and that guest doesn't really bring anything to the conversation. So, this is why I think ESPN first take fell off. And it could be fixed, but they're going to have to do some major changes before the show goes off the air. That's my thoughts. Love to hear yours. We'll see what calls the blog at. Skip Bailey sucks. Kobe sucks. And Carrie Chapman. And I'm out. Triple.